my approach this week is real simple. I'm going to fish Ray Roberts over the next three days, just like it's a one-day tournament, one-day derby for three days in a row. So that's kind of the personality of, of Lake Ray Roberts. Things change daily here. There's a lot of flip-flopping that goes on. There aren't a lot of bass that live in this place, but the ones you catch are absolute tanks. So you got to keep moving around and keep sticking and moving. And it sets up just the way I like fishing. So I'm just looking for five or six bites. And if I land all five of those bites, um, we're gonna have a good day. First flip. Oh my gosh, first flip with it, dude. Yeah. First flip with it. Gone! It's the one I saw in practice. Yeah! Welcome to Texas! Woo! We got a nice big crowd behind us and we're gonna run the juice today. I mean I'm not I'm not gonna I'm not gonna hold anything back. This is the classic and I'm fishing this like it I'm fishing this week like it's a one-day tournament, three days in a row. So every day is different. You can't hold back or save anything. Whatever bites is you know bites that day and then it's just a whole new day the next day. So we're gonna keep mixing it up here. Maybe go flipping or frogging later in the day. Again, Lake Ray Roberts does not have a lot of fish in it, but the ones you do get to bite are generally freaking big. The no looker. Good old no looker on the frog. I thought I, I was like looking over there and looking over there and I thought I heard something. I looked, my frog's gone. This stretch is pretty magical here. I saw a lot of big on the other side too. That, that was a bonus fish there. I saw a lot of big ones just cruising around. I saw, saw a five and a six on it the other day. A lot of fish up shallow. Fat two pounder. Oh, yeah. Two pounder. Number three. <laughs> we'll take what we can take. It's, uh, man, it's only eight o'clock. And um, got a lot of stuff to fish, and I, didn't, I mean, I'm not saving anything. Like I said, Ray Roberts is is a is a very flip floppy lake. You can't save anything. You got to bank what you can bank when they're biting, and then just figure it out on the fly the rest of the tournament. So, on Bass Live, you're gonna see a whole bunch of bushes, shallow water flipping, a little bit of frogging, spinner bait, swim jig, that type of stuff. But I, you know, I tried to break that mold a little bit this morning, start on some rocks, you know, structure off the bank type stuff. And I, I put a, a big one in the box early there. So it was a great start and it allows me to just really slow down. Man, we got about an hour le or less than an hour. I've only got three fish. I've got 58 minutes until we got to check in. And this is one of my best flipping stretches get just two fish in the in the boat that big that big kicker I've got doesn't go wasted just need two bites through here I shook off like four in this stretch look at the size of that mama gar look at that thing yuck I don't know if it'll keep. Yuck. 
Yes. 14 on the nose. Oh. <laughs> Barely. Gosh, I needed that. Barely. Out of Fort Worth, Texas, Chris Sandy. Boom, shakalaka.